guys welcome back to beyond the mind with your girl linda in today's video we are going to be discussing why married women fake orgasm yes you heard me right married women that your married wife might be faking it it's not all the time that you guys are actually having a match that she's actually into it most times 95 percent times she's actually faking it so have you ever wondered why she might be faking it Maybe if your gut feeling told you, this is only for intelligent men because most men don't even realize she's faking it. We are the ones that know when we're actually faking it. Anyway, if you're a returning subscriber, let me just take this opportunity to appreciate you so much and let you know that I hold you close to my heart. And if you're a new subscriber, please, thank you for subscribing and please stay. Keep coming back, okay? And if you're coming across this channel for the first time and you have never subscribed, please consider subscribing. Now, I'm a mother and I have kids. And anytime I want to do a video, that is when they want to showcase their talent. So if you hear their voice, please, can you ignore? Kindly ignore for the next six minutes and pretend that you didn't even notice them. Yeah, so at number one, she might be faking orgasm because it turns her on. Now, if you are having sex with a woman who is not prepared mental, mentally, faking orgasm helps to cheat the brain that we are actually into this thing. And you fake it until you make it. So in most cases, the more she fakes it, the more it becomes a reality to her brain. And her brain sends signals to her hormones that are supposed to be active during the do. And then that is how she gets herself in the mood. Number two is because maybe she has low libido. Now, what men don't know is that most women, married women, suffer of low libido. They might even know why. You might be wondering, my wife used to be active when I married her, and suddenly these days it's like, I'm the one that is pushing for this thing. What's going on? What is going on is that she might have lost her libido, and she's not telling you. And some of the factors that can make a woman lose libido is if you are a controlling freak as a husband, if the woman is taking contraceptives, and if the woman is tired or stressed. Those are some of the factors that contribute to low libido that men do not know. Now, if your woman is overworked at home, and then when you come back from work in the evening, you want to have her, she might not be in the mood because of the workload, the stressful day that she had. Also, when you're doing all this contraceptive, preventing ourselves not to get pregnant, this family planning, whether it's a, a witch type, whatever the type is, they normally alter the libido thing. So if your woman is reducing, has reduced in libido and you have noticed and she's taking contraceptive, probably you have to consider or reconsider which other way you people can be doing this thing for her not to get pregnant, for everybody to be safe and for everybody to still be happy in Texas. Do you understand? Another reason why she might be faking an orgasm is because she feels giving you no as an answer is not going to be acceptable to you and to the society. Now, most people will tell you, if you're married, your body belongs to your husband. Anytime he wants, anything he wants, let him do. But the truth is that before my body belongs to my husband, my body belongs to me. And I'm human. And because this husband of mine might just come and not consider whether my, my head is there, whether my mind is there. He just wants what he wants. It is what it is. And I have to actually agree because society will misunderstand me. If he's a cheap husband, he will use this as an opportunity to go and sleep around. And he will now say, anytime I ask her, she refused to give me. So in order for the society not to judge me as a wife, most married women will just give in because they don't want to say no for them not to be misunderstood by the society. Another reason is because she doesn't want to just refuse you. So... They have taught us or brought us up to know that men are always ready. They are ever ready. You know, the Odogu is ever ready. But unfortunately for women, Madame Mary is not always ready. But because I don't want to give you no for an answer, I want to make you feel good about yourself. I want to make you feel happy. I feel like your happiness 
depends on this thing and this depends on me and it's like the ball is on my court and I just have to do it. I end up doing it. So I have to fake leave. I have to fake uh, orgasm during these periods. Another thing is if she wants to make you feel good. Now, m most men have the mentality that if you're having sex with a woman and she's not mourning, she's not crying, she's not making any sound, that she is not actually enjoying it. And for this kind of man, he will continue being there until he hears you scream or mourn before he leaves. Even if you are quiet because you are not enjoying it, maybe you are in pain, maybe you are having pelvic pain, maybe you are having um, cramps, because I've been told over the years that some people still have sex even when they are having their periods. So maybe you are having cramps and you are married to this kind of man that he can never go to sleep without it. And in, this, in such a case, of course you have to fake that morning and the orgasm you have to fake it so that the guy will be convinced that he's actually working very hard so that he can at least allow you to breathe so sometimes another point is she might not be in the mood and you are always in the mood and it's a very different feeling because men don't understand how that works because apparently they are always in the mood every morning they are always having an erection of that means every man every normal man every morning is always in the mood of which men who don't have sex on a daily they are men who have just mastered the art of controlling themselves but there are some who have not mastered it and they want to be having it on a daily of which women body is not created like that and they cannot be um, responding to it like that on a daily their body cannot be responding to it on a daily so if she just feels like she's not in the mood and you are in the mood and she's unfortunately she's married to you, then she has to just try and do it. In this case, she also has to fake an orgasm before you kill her in the other room so that you'll be convinced that she's actually with you and you people are traveling to Texas together so that you'll just enjoy your life and finish what you want to finish and go so that she can breathe. So those are some of the factors why your wife might be faking an orgasm or might be faking orgasm repeatedly. Thank you so much for sticking around. I had so much fun doing this video. I want to believe that you had fun watching it too. If you were to this point and you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Let me ask you nicely. A beg. Consider subscribing and let's see your thumbs up let's see your comments down below let's see your opinions and your thoughts and please make them respectful okay yeah and let's meet in our next video bye